there. The voters felt that your being alive or dead had no real bearing on their daily lives. Well, you could take that a couple of ways, you know. With all due respect, sir, enjoy your single term. You know, it's not fair. I mean, every other president had all of the Russians to blame for everything. What have I got? You know, Mr. President, it is really too bad that the Russians are no longer in the game. Hell, they weren't much fun anyway. Never got to kill a single one of them. Yes, General, but without them, you and your friends would have had to get real jobs. What do you want to do, sir? About Russia, sir. Yeah, why don't we call up and find out who's in charge over there this week? Vladimir Krushkin. Vlad, that's great. I like him. That's good. Why don't we ask him to see if he can come over here? You know, we can, we can have, like, one of those summit things. Maybe we can work something out, like what we had with them before, you know? That's an excellent idea. Good. Great. Good. Super idea, good. sir. We've got that's a good. contingency plan. Good. We'll bring it right in. Good. Good. Treacherous bastards. Once a commie, always a commie. General, try to pretend you're not here. Shut up, Peanuts. All right. Peanuts, this man's our only hope. Mr. President, welcome to our summit. You look great. <laughs> What's it? Good. Good thank you, Scotty. Did you have a good trip? Wonderful. Truly wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, we were wondering if, uh, if you and I, uh, you know, if, if we couldn't sort of get together and, you know, mano y mano and, uh, and sort of work something out. Sort of mix it up the way we used to, you know? In the good old days. And I, don't, I don't mean a real war. I mean, just, just a little tension. Sort of help people forget about, about things, you know? But, I mean, just... <laughs> oh, Mr. President, please. Is this why you called us here? We already gave up. You won. Oh. We are too busy trying to perfect universal indoor plumbing. That's right. Indoor plumbing. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a little <laughs> central heating. A big Buick in every garage would be nice. A few cellular phones, a compact disc, MTV. What is the name of that other VH1. Channel? Yes, VH1. I'm so sorry, Mr. President. We can't go back to the old days. Please try and understand. Good day. Uh, uh, it's a trick, Mr. President. Here, yeah. Brian. Why, why can't we talk this over? What is there to talk over? You're in charge of the world now. Don't be a sore winner. Look, I'm sure we could discuss this like civilized men. Right? Civilized men? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we've both been for the last 50 years? <laughs> Just a holy goddamn minute, your comrade Wait, wait, wait. You don't go throwing your way around for half a century, threatening the whole goddamn peaceful, freedom-loving Western world, and then... Yeah, you just decide one day you don't want to tug the rope no more. Jim, do you? Please. Huh? Mr. President, I'm so sorry for this. Sorry for this? You made us spend trillions on submarines and missiles, and what did all this rubbish get us? Bread lines and mayday parades. Well, look, 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 sir. Oh, oh, come right? on, Vlad. Right. No, I got another idea. Right. We got come more chicken. Hey, we need you. Mr. President, hey. I need you. Vlad, Vlad, you don't always get a second chance. Hey! Oh, get a boy, oh, Stu! Oh, yes. oh, oh, you can't oh, get him, Pete! Mr. Oh, Lassie, get on! What are you doing? Oh, hey, over oh, here! Oh, 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 I'm very sorry, Mr. President. I'm very sorry. Get over here. Get over here. Sorry. I'm, I'm really, truly sorry. Maybe, maybe we could meet again. How about uh, Geneva? We could meet at Geneva, a sort of a neutral uh, territory. Goodbye, Mr. President. And good luck. Any more bright ideas? No. What are we gonna do for an enemy now? Dead. 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 Did I miss anything? Nothing. Also dead. These guys are all dead. What, are you working from an old list? Sir, these are the kind of guys that we're looking for. We were thinking, what could be a bigger threat than aliens invading from space? Ooh, boy! 
Scare the shit out of everyone. Even me, sir. Jesus, is this the best you could come up with? What about, you know, international terrorism? Well, sir, we're not going to reopen missile factories just to fight some creeps running around and exploding rental cars, are we, sir? Turn on the lights. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm appalled. I mean, I'm surprised you left those killer bees off the list. That, that'd be a good one. How about... How about Canada? Oh!